Well, hello everybody, how we doing? This is the Random Name 951 and I'm here bringing a little tutorial on uh, how to get your file manager back on your modded Vita. So let's play a little scenario game. Let's say um, here I have a modded Vita that's running custom firmware 3.60 and Kaku with, with the Enso. And let's just say that I don't have Vita Shell here and I lost my apps. And I, you know, you need Vita Shell to even get anything on your, anything unofficial as far as software onto your PS Vita. So, you know, how, how are we going to get Vita Shell back on? Well, I'm going to show you guys how. So we're going to go settings first. And this is essentially kind of a two-in-one video. Basically, if you have a, if you just downgraded or you have a Vita on 3.60 firmware, official firmware, this will allow you to get Hinkaku on your Vita, and then later on, you know, you could um, get the Enso.vpk with the file manager we're going to install right now, so you can have that untethered jailbreak. Um, in this instance, I have again a uh, custom firmware 3.60 within uh, Hinkaku and Enso running, and we're going to get a file manager on here using the Vita browser. So first, we want to make sure we go to Hankaku settings. You want to go to your spoof version. And right now this video is being done in 2020, October 2020. And the most current firmware version is 3.73, which is the spoof version. Now to get this to work, we're going to actually change this to the actual firmware, which is 3.60. Again, guys, do not do this if you're not on any other firmware. This, as far as my knowledge is, will only work on custom firmware, or excuse me, not custom firmware, or yeah, on custom firmware 3.60 or just official firmware 3.60. So just to show you guys real quick, you can see I am on Hankaku uh, with system software 3.60. So again, once we got all that done, We've changed our spoof version to 3.60. You want to make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi. Next, we're going to go to our Vita browser. Go ahead and start it up. And we're going to go to the address bar. And we're going to type in HTTP. And just type in H. You should get a kind of autofill. Go to this one that has the colon and backslash. Now we're going to type in Hankaku dot xyz and then you should have something like that go ahead and press the green enter bar and we're going to be taken to this website so once you get here go ahead and press install and again this will give you a notice saying you know what you're going to do could you know possibly break or you know void warranty most warranties are up here and it'll give you kind of just a little um installation thing if the shows will be yeah so um again make sure you are your actual firmware is on 3.60 uh and your spoof version is on 3.60 or this could result in an error or will not work so next we're going to go to install And just a little note, like I said, if you, if you were to have a modded Vita, this won't hurt anything. It might reset a couple settings as far as uh, Hinkaku settings, and but that's about it. So once we press OK, the screen should, should switch over to like installation screen. And you're going to want to make sure you have your hand ready on the R button. So let's go ahead and press OK. I did do this a couple times on my last try, but just give it a second. You might have to do it two or three times. Just press OK. All right, so now press R. And you can see now we are installing Molecular Show, which is like a uh, Vita Show, but it's a more original version, I believe. All right, so once we've done that, press X. And most importantly, what we're gonna do first is uh, we'll do some kind of cleanup. So it, 
Well, before we do that, let's make sure Molecular Shell has installed. It should be all the way at the as a uh, bottom last page. You can see we have Molecular Shell here. You can open it. And again, this is Vita Shell, except it doesn't have the USB capability for transferring. And uh, it's lacking quite a bit of other settings as, as well. But um, it's, it's going to get the job done as far as being able to uh, FTP file transfer, you know, using FileZilla client to get those VPKs you need back, such as Auto Plugin and Vita Shell. So before we even start any of that, we want to make sure we do a kind of like a cleanup. So I like to go back to my browser and instead of pressing start, you're going to press either the PlayStation.com or this is probably the only thing you'll have if you have a US Vita. You'll get a little error again saying cannot connect. Just press OK. Then go to your tabs and make sure you exit them. All right. And once you've done that, you can close that out. Now we're going to go back to settings. And this is where some settings might be have might have been reset. So you can see uh, uns unsafe homebrew is unchecked, so you need to recheck that. So you would be so you can now use a molecular shell for transferring, of course. And we're going to go to spoof version and make sure you put it to the most current firmware it is, which in my case is 3.73 as of October 2020. And that's about it, you're pretty much done. So now, um, you could go ahead and go on your desktop laptop and run molecular shell, and you'll be able to do your your file transfer just like if you're running on Vita Shell. Yeah guys, so uh, that's about it. I hope this video helped. I may do another video on how to on how to make a kind of more permanent solution to keeping Vita Shell on your Vita where you, it um there's a VPK that replaces the near app with the original or old version of Vita Shell and that basically allows you to install the most current updated version of Vita Shell Anytime, for some reason, you might accidentally delete video show or something just happens. So yeah, guys, uh, till next time, peace.